Okay, we're at the 10th problem, and I, I really think at this point, um, you're either catching on to what we're doing or you haven't paid much attention. Because if you got the number 10 and you paid attention, you probably could do this pretty quickly. Now, granted, you get tired, of course, and you know, some of this, I'm, I'm done doing problems now. But I want to talk about the, I'm not going to do every step on it now. I'm going to start talking, just talking through it. If you looked at 27, I would say it's 9 times 3. And if you look at 72, that would be what? 9 times 8. All right, so if you were looking at the, um, the least common multiple of that, you'd have to multiply the top by, let's see, by 8. And that would give it 9, 3, 8. And you have to multiply the bottom by 3. All right, that would give you 9, 3, 8. All right, now let me get my eraser out. And I'm going to erase this over here. I'm not going to do every step, by the way. But I'm going to say, you know, probably minus 3, right? And if you did this over here, let me point out what you'd get. You get 40x squared. This is not the method we're using in notes, by the way. And I'll talk over that as well. Plus 8xy. I just want to start you out if you need help. And this will give you minus 24y squared is equal to 27 times 8. And this would give you minus 12x squared plus 12xy. minus 9y squared is equal to 70, minus 72 times 3. And if you add those together, what are you going to get? You get 28x squared plus 20xy minus 33y squared is equal to 0. Then what would you do? You try to factor it, right? And I'm hoping you remember we've, we've done things like this before. Well, 33 is going to work. It's probably going to be 3y and 11y. And the 28. Let's take a look. 4x, 7x, that's not going to do it, is it? Let's try again. Maybe 7x and 4x. Well, it's 21 and 44. That's not going to do it either, is it? On well, my third try now, aren't I? Well, let's see. I'm going to say 14 and 2. Whoops. So what do you get there? Well, you get 28x squared. Certainly, I didn't put signs in yet, by the way. 33y squared. 14 times 3 is 30 and 12, 42. And then 11 times 2 is 22, right? Well, they differ by 20. That's good news. So let's put this down, plus, minus. And we've done many things like this before. Then what do you do? Zero product rule. You'd say 14x equals 11y. X equals 11 fourteenths of a y. Over here, 2x equals minus 3y, or x equals minus 3 over 2y. And we've done this. Then you plug it back in, you do that. And it's worked. There's no doubt about it. All right? and, and I realize some people don't enjoy doing that, but we've done a large number of those already. All right? I'm not going to continue with that. What I'm going to do is talk about the k. All right? So let's talk through the k. And we've done that many times before. I hope you can pay attention to what we were doing before. And if you like that method, you use it. All right, let's just talk to you the key, though. In the key, what did I do? I said add the two equations together to eliminate y squared term. 
yielding. Well, if you do that, let's just follow what they said. If you add these two equations together, what would you get? 9x squared. Uh, let's see, minus 3xy. And then you'd get what? 99, right? Gee, I think I would divide by, um, by 3, right? What do you get? 3x squared. Oops, sorry about that. Minus xy equals 33. And then I'm going to solve for x, right? So 3x squared minus 33 equals xy. I'm sorry, I'm solving for y. And divide through by x. Yeah, you get it. That's not bad. Then what they do? Let's talk about it. Again, we're just talking through the K. We're at problem number 10 now. We're doing less work, and these should be shorter videos to watch. Then what I do, I took this, and I plugged it in where I thought was easy, all right? So I, I'm thinking that maybe this is the easiest of the two equations. I could be wrong, by the way. It looks easiest to me, all right? So I, I put 5x squared, x times y. Well, this is what y is. Minus 3, this is what y is, equals 27. And I gotta be honest with you, this is work. This is gonna require work. What do I gotta do there? Multiply it out, get rid of the, uh, the denominators, blah, 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 get things on one side. And then you got more work. You gotta factor. Now remember when I just did the other problem, I, I did that too, I got it factored. Right, it's different than this problem over here, but it's gonna lead to the same answers. You gotta factor it. And then what do you do? Use the zero product rule. So x equals three or minus three. That's fairly simple. I'll show you where that is. How do you get the y though? Plug it in here. If you do that, you should get these numbers over here. The other guy's a killer though. I'll point out what I mean by that. 19x squared has to equal 363. x squared is 363 over 19. Then you do the square root of that. Kind of nightmarish. There's no doubt about it. But if you do that, you're going to get on a pretty easy numbers. All right? So what I, I, may, I, should, I misspoke. Not easy numbers. But if you do this, you should show you this and this. And if you plug it in, someone says plug it in where? Our favorite, right over here. You should be able to get these guys. You should, all right, the points. What I do over there, I also graphed it out for you. Now, someone says, well, you're not doing all the work for me. You're right, we've done a lot of problems prior where I've done all the work on it. We're leaving it up to you to do the work now. Now, what are the easy points I got? You know, three minus two. Let me tell you what that is. That's right there. We just did this one over there. Minus three, two. That's right over here. These are really tough numbers to plot. I didn't plot it though. Who plotted it? A machine plots it. I just tell the machine what the point is and the machine plotted that point for me. All right, thank you.